All right, it's the next day. I went to Home Depot, they didn't have what I needed. I went to another Home Depot, they didn't have what I needed. So I ended up at Lowe's and that took all day. Um, but I got what I needed. Now we're coming in here. I have a tough door. Um, got the heater going to keep it warm. I'm gonna insulate today. So I gotta clean all the walls off, do all that kind of stuff, tape off when I need to tape off, and then go in there with the spray foam. Um, I'm probably not gonna film the spray foam because I know I'll get something sticky on the camera. But other than that, I'll show you how it goes. All right, got the bucket of hot soapy water. Same as anything else, gonna scrub the walls down. And so I don't get the floors muddy, I have to take those shoes off and put these slippers on while in the van. So that's fun, every time I get it in and out. But you know, things do go on. You served your purpose. I will say, this build is gonna be sick. For the space that it's in, it's really gonna function well. And that's really what you want. Like, yeah, you want it to look cool, and this will look cool. But, I mean, you're living in the thing, not showing it off, so you want it to function. And this thing is gonna function. All right, Cinderella time. Obviously, you clean all of the dust off so that the spray foam insulation sticks real well. If it's dusty, it'll stick to the dust and not to the wall. All right, all that stuff is scrubbed. You wanna make sure you're getting behind these walls because that's where you're gonna spray. The stuff is crazy sticky, so it'll probably stick either way, but you wanna make you wanna get that base layer out just to give it its best chance as far as you can. Next step, get these panels off. There's one on the side door as well. Um, and then tape stuff off, and then I'll get to spraying. Gotta clean these too. They are dirty. It's kind of funny that I'm building this uh, in the winter in the snow. My very first sprinter I bought like December 20th or something. I don't know, three years ago. But it was winter and it was cold and there was snow. And me and my girlfriend at the time, who is just my good friend now, uh, we're outside insulating the van while it was 20 something degrees out. But we were just so excited to get into van life that it didn't matter. Fun, fun memories. Very fond indeed. It's also a freaking sauna in here. For the spray foam, it's gotta be warm. All right, we are just about ready. The panels are off, everything's clean. I taped the edges. If you're new with the spray foam, you might wanna do more covering in case you overspray. I know what I'm doing. Um, I'm pretty confident that I'm not going to overspray. Famous last words, right? But we'll see. All right, I'm in my van. Um, I'm just gonna show you what the spray foam stuff looks like. So it comes in a box, it's all packaged. You open it up, there's these, these are the tips like a flat spray that kind of makes a wall and then just the straight nozzle that shoots, you know, straight. There's enough literature for a couple nights of reading, if you'd like. It's two canisters. So these mix in these tubes and then become the insulation stuff. You attach the tips into there and you can switch the tips. You gotta make sure you do it, you know, cleanly and make sure it's all connected nice and clean. But then you just open those up. You wanna spray it into like a trash can first um, and give this time to mix evenly and once you're getting a consistent spray out you're pretty good to go oh also shake thoroughly for best performance all right I got this stuff into this van to get going I'm not gonna film it because I know I'll get something sticky on the camera make sure you're wearing gloves and eye protection and a face mask 
and all that stuff. Cover all your skin. This stuff can be nasty. They want you wearing hazmat suits. So I guess legally, if you do it, wear a hazmat suit. But just make sure you protect yourself. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Everything's covered in snow and I'm sweating. But it's all insulated. There's drips and everything, so you gotta go in and cut that off. Uh, serrated knife is usually the best for that. Like a bread knife, that's the, cuts that right through. And yeah, that's that. All right, so we got all the insulation cleaned up to where it needs to be. Take, took all the excess off and all of that. Now we're gonna work on putting the walls up. With as small of a space that it is, we wanna be really smart on how we do this. So everything that's not showing which in this van is pretty much just everything below the midline here. Um, I'm gonna cover with, it's an eighth of an inch laminate paneling. paneling. Um, it's waterproof on one side, so that side will show in. Um, and it's pretty flexible because these, these walls are very curvy and they got weird spots even more so than a sprinter. And then the top sections up here and up here um, will be cedar tongue and groove pieces and then for these back panels I'm going to use the same panels over there as tracers what's that word hmm well I'm gonna trace those panels onto laminate that look like wood probably just so it looks a little nicer and same with the sliding door so we'll get to it Working with everything wet, it's not as much fun as working with everything when it's dry. Not impossible, just takes extra steps. We're gonna have to cut a bunch of contours and stuff, so we're just getting the base square, and then it will be a lot of middle cutting. So what I'm doing is just, that's squeaky. Um, I gotta make sure it fits around all these little things. So it's just a thousand steps, a thousand cuts. And you wanna work in a way that you're working closer to your final piece. So the first thing you have to get past is this because it sticks out the most. Then that sticks out the most. Then these, this will stick out the most. And you just work your way in nice and slow and it takes a while, but it's the best way to do it.
got that first level of base paneling on. This one, this won't sit up by itself, but it goes flat. 